But the thing about lyrical ballads that we forget is that it was put together by two friends, two fairly young men. Um, Wordsworth and Coleridge we now think of as grand old English poets, but they were fairly young men who were experimenting. And that's what's strange to us, because we read the poetry um, of Romanticism now, when it sounds like poetry as we always think it's been, but before 1798, when lyrical ballads came out, poetry was more formal, it was more courtly, it was about romancing, it was about being clever and tricks. And Wordsworth and Coleridge wanted to produce a kind of poetry that was simple and true and authentic. And that's sort of what we think poetry is about now. But the romantics begin that. They begin talking about feelings in a really authentic idiom. And their language is completely important here because it's about simple terms. It's about talking about feelings and about mood. So when you're reading romantic poets, you should be thinking not ju just what is this poem about, what are the tricks that are happening formally in a poem, but what's the mood that Wordsworth and Coleridge are conjuring? And in lyrical ballads, very often the mood is melancholic. Um, Coleridge has a poem called uh, An Ode to Dejection. So they're often interested in quite thoughtful, reflective sort of moods. And the trick with the lyrical ballads in particular is to read them out loud yourself and fall into that mood. Because one of the things that they're both brilliant at doing is seducing you into their rhythms. And so you start to feel the moods that they're feeling. Now, Tintin Abbey is the best example of that because it flows. And the reason it flows is that Wordsworth is talking about the River Wye and the way that it's the river banks are flowing through the various hills and valleys. And he's taking you on that journey too. Um, and it's not just about mood, it's also about bodies. That's the strange thing about Tintin Abbey. There are eyes and hearts and blood all over the place. And so when you're reading that work, you should be feeling it with your body too. Um, so if you're talking about Wordsworth and Coleridge in your exams, remember to think about mood and think about bodies too. Mm -hmm.